Hi, I'm interior designer Libby Langdon. Welcome to my clients, Madison Avenue pied a -terre. I'm excited to share with you design inspiration and details that prove you can live big in a small space. Let's check it out. In the entry, there wasn't a lot I could do in here, but I knew I wanted to add some wallpaper, and I love this wallpaper. It's got a beautiful texture to it. It's nice and light, and there's actually a little metallic detail to it, so it's a nice reflective surface. It spices up the space. When you walk into the apartment, you see this amazing view on the 23rd floor. I knew I wanted to incorporate a chandelier over the dining table. So it needed to be linear in nature. So it was very slim and I didn't want to obstruct the view. This oval dining table was a great choice for the space. It kind of allows ease of movement. The other thing that maximizes this dining space is the banquette. It's pushed all the way up against the wall and that gives me about three extra feet. It maximizes space because Every inch counts. Since this is an open space, it was important for me to delineate the dining room, and this wallpaper really helped me do that. It's a wonderful wood veneer. Breaking up the seating in the dining room also makes it way more dynamic. This two bedroom pied a terre is in Nomad, and when my client first saw it, he fell in love with the view. The springboard for the color scheme was the Chrysler building. So I used silver, gray, slate blues, but then I had to figure out the layout of the space. And of course I wanted to face the views as much as possible. I love the floor to ceiling windows, and there's a corner where they meet. So I thought that would be the perfect place to incorporate some swivel chairs. So if the client wants to turn around, have a coffee, coffee or a cocktail and look at the view, perfect. I love the special main space, but now I'm gonna take you back to the private spaces. So this is the small guest room, but this is what I did to make it feel bigger. We actually wallpapered just this one wall and got a high headboard. So drawing your eye upward makes the ceiling seem even higher and the room feel even bigger. I also love the combination of this kind of tweedy, wonderful, rich wallpaper paired with this soft velvet headboard. It's definitely luxe and a little sexy. Of course, the primary bedroom has a beautiful view, but it was important for me to really soften the space. And I did that by incorporating this upholstered panel wall. It's in this rich, beautiful velvet. The client wasn't crazy about an upholstered bed, but this beautiful wood adds a really nice texture and the color's really, really soft. Because every great design is really a collaboration between you and your client. This light fixture is great because it has a panel on the bottom that's soft, diffused light. So don't be afraid to use a chandelier in your bedroom. Because the views are so great, I wanted to capitalize that in my design. And so I incorporated this thin but tall mirror. It reflects all the natural light during the day. It's almost like hanging another window in your room. One of my pet peeves is a small lamp in a small space. These have wonderful scale and height and give a better spread of light. So no small lamps in small spaces. Thanks for checking out my client's chic apartment, which proves you can have big style in a small space. Happy designing. Can't get enough of these breathtaking homes? Hit that subscribe button for more open house coming your way.